What's up, guys? Welcome to the Box Solutions. Where Francis today we found some uh, sage. Um, it's it's in terms of product. This is kind of like the weird product that is not made by Panini or by any of the big names in terms of like car producers. Um, sage to me is like a decent product. They do okay. They definitely give you a lot of cards. They make up for their their makeup. For by giving you like this is more like a quantity over a quality kind of concept. I mean, you can pull like one car from you can pull like a like a mid level car from like any Panini box, like um, even Chronicles or yeah, we'll give you some example. So you know we got Elite here and we got Chronicles over here. So in a sense. Unfortunately, Sage doesn't get as much love as it gets. It's like the GMA of like boxes. If you guys do a lot with the graded cards like I do, or like I want to do in the future, you know, trust for the job that you're looking for. So Sage doesn't get all the love, but they do give you a ton of cards. So, um, so honestly, I think it's more of a fun rip kind of concept. I mean, look at that. Boom. Compared to an elite box or a pretty new box or even like a soccer box, like the amount of cards that they give you, it's a ton of it. But then again, in terms of hits, instead of like random things, you're not going to get a lot of quality overall cards. Like you get the, I mean, you get something out of it. But it looks pretty dumb. It looks like you even have them like label now, so you know you don't have to worry about. It. So rookie, rookie, and this is also rookie. But yeah. And also here are the three autographs, in case you know anybody wants to like just buy a single pack, just buy the three autograph pack. So we'll open that last for it. And let's see what Sage has to offer for us. I mean, like I said, it's pretty cool stuff. I'm just gonna run through it. Um, like I said, more of a fun rip kind of concept. Like, and good luck, you know. It's pretty cool though. Let's see if we know anybody. Oh, Matt Jones. See how many duplicates we get also. Justin Fields, um, Amar St. Brown, Khalil Herbert. Um, I don't know who you are, Tom Wallace, that's new some. But overall, kind of good looking cards overall, you know. Zach Wilson might be starting for the Jets. So I'm putting them aside in a sense for it. Um, Quan Baker. That it's not. I think the thing about the stage is more like you know going against PSA or going against any of the big dogs for it. But overall, um, if you guys like if you guys like me, you guys like ripping, collecting, finding cool cards wherever they're at, like finding the hidden gems. That's kind of what I like. I like finding the hidden gems. Also, this helps me out find out some of these guys are who they are. Tre this is actually my first Trevor Lawrence. This is my first Trevor Lawrence, and it comes from a stage box, not from Panini or anywhere else. So, we'll put that right there for the next level. Thank you, Trevor Lawrence. Or thank you, uh, Sage, for pulling my first Trevor Lawrence. If you guys don't believe me, watch all my football videos. You guys will see my pulls. None of them are Trevor Lawrence. So, yeah. Um, not bad. I mean, obviously, with this amount of cards, they have to put in your Trevor or two in there. So far, one Mac Jones, one Seth Wilson. Just a little bit of everything for it. A lot of people, a lot of guys that I actually don't even know. Ooh, more Zach Wilson, so that's cool. AJ Rose, uh, Ian Book. I don't know who you are, but man, I got a couple of your cards. Javante Williams, Jamar Watts. Actually, one of my favorite cards that I pulled it was a, it was a Wonder Franco card that I have. I pulled it from Sage. This is this? Yeah, I think it was Sage for it. I pulled it from there. It's like one of my favorite cards. It's in my PC. So yeah, just kind of like finding the hidden gems for it. This is what that Sage is about for it. Um, obviously, what we really care about is really the three autographs that come with it. But overall, tell me how you guys feel about uh, this. How you guys feel about Sage, about this pack? I mean, if you can't find anything, at least, who my second Trevor Lawrence ever pull. Boom. Not even from that Chronicles Hobby Box that I opened, I pulled a Trevor Lawrence, but I did it from Sage. Thank you, Sage. I appreciate that. So, not bad at all, Jalen Waddle. Ooh, who are you? Another Khalil Herbert. Nice. I think that might have been a duplicate, which is not cool, but whatever. Trey, Trey Sermons. Yeah, another Ian Book. Maybe Ian Book would have a great season. And Sage would be like the only Sage were like the only people that invest into their cards. So how about that? How dope would that be? I mean, Ian Book break has a breakout year and Sage was the only one that mass produced his cards. Like that would be an entirely amazing concept. And at the end of the day, if it comes to like, uh, okay, so also in a sense of like retail and just like overall selling the cards, you know, which is part of the business or part of the hobby for it. Um, 
in many cases, man, you're really selling the names. At the end, well, not in many cases. At the end of the day, you're selling the names. You're selling Trevor Lawrence. You're selling Matt Jones. You're selling Zach Wilson, Justin Fields. That is what people are looking for. Um, if it's a say Chana Panini, of course, you know, there's like national treasure. Value wise, it's going to be a lot better to have like a Trevor Lawrence auto than a Sage auto. But the point is, you can still make yourself a profit and build up to a national, a $3,000 national treasure, you know, hobby box or something like that. All right, guys, so here for the main event, let's look at the autos. Uh, we have an offensive line auto, which is not great. It's kind of shitty if you ask me, but that's okay, though. It's your hawker. Uh, rookie autograph. It's pretty nice. Also have a Derek Forrest. Safety. Rookie autograph. Last but not least, we have a David Moore. Rookie autograph as well. So, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do not know who any of these people are. But I'm pretty happy that I pulled some Trevor Lawrence. My first Trevor Lawrence pulling into it after buying the Chronicles Hobby Box. That was a shit show. Honestly, I like this card a lot better than the Hobby Box that I ripped. So, hope you guys have a great day. This is your Francis in the box collection. Remember, uh, like, comment, and subscribe on the video so that we can keep uh, keep up with the show. Podcast videos are up. Let us know what you guys think about Thursday games. And now, for the last 30 seconds, as usual, we'll do some of our shout outs. Shout out to Andrew Bubblegum Leather, who's a hater. Um, shout out to Luis, also a hater. Beckham Cards are also haters. Shout out to all the haters out there living to living a the good life, you know. Um, hobby Freak, Transcendent Breaks, um, Back the Back Room with Kyle. And all right, guys, you guys hope you have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know who is your favorite car. I mean, I'm still pretty happy that I pulled two Trevor Lawrence from Sage when I wasn't able to do it from Chronicles or anywhere else. Deuces.